All right, before we get to a weather report, the Reds Meadow Road will be opening this Saturday, 7 o'clock. The mandatory Reds Meadow shuttle bus operated by Eastern Sarah Transit Authority will run daily starting this Saturday. For more information, Devil's Post Pile National Monument, visit the website nps.gov, and that's under depot. All right, let's go to the weather maps. Airway Media Forecaster Dennis Mattinson. Yeah, saying we've had some breezy, windy conditions. There's a rather deep upper low stuck off the Pacific Northwest coast. Now Friday transition taking place. Strong upper level ridge over four corners will begin to bulge westward. I love the weather talk. This will bring about a significant warming trend through at least the middle of next week. Widespread triple digits. I'd rather go see widespread panic uh, will be in store for the lower elevations. Well, temperatures reaching anywhere from the lower 80s to the lower 90s in Mono County by Tuesday. Low tonight into the at 36 degrees, Bishop and the Owens Valley, 47 degrees. Mamma June, Mono County on Thursday, looking at mostly su or sunny skies. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, 62 just the high in Mammoth, low of about 38 degrees. Friday for Mono, mostly sunny skies. Southwest winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. 66 the high in mammoth low of about 42 degrees and for saturday mostly sunny skies southwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour 72 the high in mammoth low of about 43 degrees bishop and the owens valley on thursday forecast is calling for sunny skies some northwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour 86 the high in bishop low of about 50 degrees mostly sunny skies for the valley on friday northwest winds 10 to 15 might see some of those gusts to 20 89 the high in bishop low of about 52 and saturday more of the same northwest winds 10 to 15 gusts to 20 under mostly sunny skies warming up to about 93 for the high in Bishop and low of about 54 degrees. So again, a bit breezy as we always do. Seems this time uh, late spring, early summer here in the eastern Sierra and we're going to have some real hot temperatures by the middle to early part of next week or the early to middle part of next week. Want to talk about the Mammoth Motocross? Yeah, it gets bigger and better every year in the 2016 Mammoth Motocross. Kicking off this weekend with the veterans taking center stage. Mammoth, Ma Mammoth Motocross race director Mike Colbert says he's excited to have Lucas Oil on board as the title sponsor for next week during the mini race days. That's for the riders under age of 16 over 600 of them, according to Colbert. There's going to be a lot of fun events associated with the Mammoth Motocross taking place in the village at Mammoth, as well as some bowling fun at Mammoth Rock and Roll. Race director Colbert said the Mammoth Motocross is getting bigger and better each year. And this year, nearly 4,000 racers will hit the starting gates. You can get all the information. MammothMotocross.com. A great couple of weeks here in the Eastern Sierra. That's going to wrap up news and information for us here on Sierra Wave TV3. You know we're part of Sierra Wave Media. You can hear our radio station, Alt 92.5, where we'll be giving away some Mammoth Motocross tickets over the next couple of days. Streaming on our website, SierraWave.net. Have a great evening, everybody. Good night.